on Indian economy is going to be devastated. You have no idea what is coming. It's going to be the most painful thing this country has suffered. And it's coming. It's like a, it's like a tsunami is coming. Right? Before the tsunami comes, if you, I'll tell you the story that happened. Um, in Andaman Nicobar, before the tsunami came, the water went out. When the water went out, everybody went to get the fish. When they went to get the fish, the water came in. So the water is going to come. And I've been warning the government that a massive tsunami is coming. And they are fooling about, they are not clear about what they have to do. India should be preparing itself, not just for COVID virus, but for the economic devastation that is coming. Right? I'm saying it again and again and again. Nobody is listening to me. I am sorry to say our people are going through going to go through unimaginable pain in the next six it is, look it is it is not it is not a question of moody's rating moody's rating is not the issue here right we have come we have come into a we have come into a mindset which which is mr narendra modi's mindset that we are rated by some outsiders i'm not bothered what the outsiders are saying okay i understand what our strengths are now the problem is that these people do not believe in our strengths these people want uh, to be rated by Moody's, to be rated by Standard & Poor, to be rated by Mr. Trump. I don't care about all that rating. I don't give a damn about that rating. I know what our strengths are and I'm saying to you, start to prepare our strengths, start to create a defensive situation. Okay, because if you don't, there will be devastation. Again, there will be devastation. You think this one bank is a problem? Number of other banks are going to fall. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to tell the Prime Minister, get your hand, head out of the sand. Your head is right now in the sand. Pull it out. Look around what's going on. Don't be scared. Remove the fear that you've always carried all your life because India needs you to do that. Thank you.